What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so this is tick number five right here. This is really, really, really irritating me because, yes, I'm trying to get this off right now. Um, yeah, rookie mistake, been making them off screen. Kind of need to address it right here, right now. Yes, in our last episode, we managed to fix up everything at New Mauville. Got the Thunderbolt technique and all that fun stuff, but yes, I did say that we were going to go to the east. You know? The east. All the way to east uh, to complete our whole adventure and all that stuff. But unfortunately, I completely forgot about a few things that we kind of need to take care of before we go east. And that is, uh, you know, go up north right here in Rustboro City and uh, actually grab a few items that, you know, we needed to, to get as well. Now, while doing this, I... I, I made the I made the risky decision to actually you know reset my game and see where I was at. I didn't really care if I would, like if I had to redo a few things, but it turns out that yeah I accidentally reset reset it to a saved game and uh, <laughs> it led me all the way back to the you know the rest area near Fall Arbor and Lava Ridge and the desert and all that fun stuff. So I had to redo everything, rebattle trainers and whatnot. The only thing that I left out was battle the trainers down in the sea at Route 110, 111, all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to do that off screen and whatnot. But don't worry, guys. My Pokemon are at the same level that we left them at. And uh, let's see, let's see. Yes, this is one of the things that we needed to do right here. Now, once you've given, well, yeah, once you've given Stephen Stone uh, the letter, go right here and talk to his dad, Mr. Stone. And he's going to be like, oh, you, you delivered my letter. Thank you kindly. This is my way of thanking you. It should help you a trainer. And, of course, we get ourselves the experience share. He's like, a Pokemon holding that experience share will be given some of the experience points from the battle. It will all, uh, it will get experience points even if it didn't actually battle. I would say experience share is quite useful for raising weak Pokemon. So that's one of the things that you can get now. I just realized something too. The, let's see, let's see. No, I think I already did that. Did I? I don't know. I'm thinking out loud right now, guys. Um, let's see, Pokemon, let's see. Okay, so I, I did do it. Uh, I was trying to think, oh yeah, Meteorite, Return, completely forgot. Yeah, I, yeah, oh god, a big, big, big mix up and I, it took like an hour out of my time recording this guys. You don't know how much time is valuable to me, so by doing that it kind of irritated me. You only got this thing done like around 9-ish or something like that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go up here at Route 115 and surf all the way up to, I believe, uh, it's the same, Route 115. The outskirts of Route 115. Um, let's see. What we need right now is a Super Repel. And, uh, okay, so we already battled you. What we need to do now is we just need to uh, go up just a little bit further. As you can see, there's an indent right there so you can actually, you know, get uh, get yourself another secret base. Uh, this place is actually filled with areas where you can actually get yourself some secret bases. So it's, a, it's an abundance of secret bases. And uh, I'm going to battle you first. I'm, I'll battle while I, I'm running. Try and keep up with me. All right, bring it on. Let's do this. Okay, so finally, let's go ahead and battle all these people. Triathlete Kyra. And she's coming out with her Doe Duo. Now, another thing that really irritated me about this is that I did record this episode in particular. And what ended up happening was that when I saw it on the screen, it missed, like, what? A huge chunk of the, the background sound. So it just uh, it messed up completely, so I decided to restart it and redo it again. So hopefully it won't do it right here, and this guy is pissing me off. Come on, stop hitting me with a try, a try attack. It's not going to work. Let's go with a peck attack. That's right. Donde esta la biblioteca? And here he comes out with a, or she comes out with a Dodrio. So I'm going to go straight to Raiden right here now. Another thing that I had to do, yes, I had to use like a super speed uh, experience experience uh, for my Pokemon to actually grow levels, and I had to make sure that they didn't grow uh, they didn't grow too far into their levels. I needed to get them back to where they needed to where they were before I last where I last recorded them. So, yeah.
A lot of my Pokemon are... Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love that. You have to love that. Okay, so... Uh, I know I'm gonna have to battle that trainer, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going, I'm going to switch it up to Gaia, the Fierce Knight, because this guy probably has Poison-type Pokemon. Alright, I'll take that. Ultra Pokemon Ninja Attack. Okay. Bring it. Just bring it. So here we have Ninja Boy Jaden, and he's coming out with his Ninjask. Okay, I did battle this guy in a double battle, and it was kind of—it was quite annoying taking on this Ninjask right here because this guy would not go away. And uh, this is one of the techniques that we'll be using: double team. You're an asshole. You really are. So here we go: Psychic Attack from Gaia the Fierce Knight, and it takes him all the way down. That's right. Guy is getting experience points, coming out with a gulpin. I'm gonna stay with the Pokemon that you know that is more more stronger than this guy. And of course, speed boost. It has speed boost because you know the other Pokemon has speed boost. So let's go with that psychic attack. Eat it, Gulpin. For the win. That's right. So no more Gulpin. And yes, your strategy failed miserably. Alright, so we got another trainer right there. I if I remember correctly. He has, like, some kind of weird Pokemon. I don't even know. All the Pokemon are weird. So here we go. Let's bring it on. Hmm, you seem rather capable. Let me keep you company. All right, bring it. So here we go. We're taking on, what's his name? Expert Timothy, and he's going to come out with his Hariyama. And yes, I chose incorrectly. Crap. Okay, um, yeah, not going to happen. I'm going to switch it up to Gaia the Fierce Knight right here. Let's do this. Let's do this for America. That's right. And there's that thick fat. And that fake out will not make me flinch because I didn't attack. So here we go again with the psychic attack. And, uh, bye bye. Say goodbye to Hariyama. That's right. How does it feel to fail? And, uh, let's see. No more Pokemon for this guy. He's like, you're too much stronger than I imagined. Yes, I am. Thank you. Alrighty, and yeah, he wants to give us his information because yeah, he wants to reach another uh, another battle right here. And uh, gonna grab this before that guy wants to battle me. And of course, I could not switch. It. And he's like, "Ew, my Machop, demand a battle." All right, bring it. Just bring it. So here we go, Black Bell Koichi, and he's gonna come out with his Machop, that Machop that demands a battle against me. And, uh, well, I'm gonna stick with the Breloom right here. Or Shroomly. Le Shroomly. Bring it. Shroomly does that. Shroomly. Kick it some butt. Getting that seismic toss. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay, so here we go. Mega Drain. Ah, uh, yes. Mega Drain for the win right here. That's right. How's it feel to fail? And, uh,. Black Belt Koichi wants to come out with his Machoke, so it gives me a good chance to take out or come out with Skyblade right here. Skyblade needs to learn or needs to grow more levels. It's the only Pokemon at uh, below level 30 right here, and this guy's trying to make me flinch. That was a weird way to, to just like try and make me flinch. And uh, Peck. I need to get a better move than just Peck. Like a real ace or something. And there's that Seismic Toss. Gives me a uh, nice, nice damage. And. Uh, Revenge, oh crud, oh crud, oh crud. That is a uh, powerful move. And there goes Skyblade. So, I gotta switch him up. Let's go with Gaia, the Fierce Knight. Alright. Gaia, destroy. I would say Obliterate, but I didn't name him Exodia. That would have been a cool name, Exodia. But, eh, not really. Nah, it doesn't have that vibe like Exodia, you know, from Duel Monsters. Okay, so I gotta revive. Uh, I gotta revive that Pokemon and uh, crud. Yeah, completely forgot that I didn't buy myself any kind of a revive. So we're gonna have to be left out with any kind of revive. So let's just battle these people. I don't care. I don't want to do another try of this. Let's go. And yes, my eyes did not meet with you. It didn't. Stop faking it. Stop telling me that. So here we go. Battle girl Helene and. Psychic Alex with an I want to battle. And, uh, oh, wow. I don't know if I chose correctly. I don't know. Alright, so. 
Let's go with the straight attack and let's go with the facade. Facade attack. Takes him out. That's right. Alrighty, so let's see, let's see. She's coming out with a Makuhita. Perfect, perfect. Let's go. No disable. Let's go with that strength attack. And say goodbye to Kadabra. Look at that. Easy, easy victory right there. Alrighty. And they got one more Pokemon right there, so we're about to win this thing. Let's do the same thing right here. Oh yeah, I did the right thing. Here we go. Psychic attack from Gaia the Fierce Knight. That's right. Makua Huita defeated. And, uh, well, look at that. Gaia grows to level 32, which is good. And here we go with a, str a strength attack from Shroom Lee. And, uh, well, there goes Curlia. Not so happy. Very, 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 very not happy. And he's like, yeah, that was too humiliating. Beat you. Beat you. I won. Alright, so we gotta get these things, and we found ourselves two Kelpsy Berries. Well, six total right here. Now, the Pokemon that you can actually find in here, I think you could find, uh, what, Swablu, uh, Talo, Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff you could actually find right here. Uh, Pokemon Silver, you can actually get yourself a Metatype around here. Um, I was gonna get a Metatype for this game right here, but I soon realized that, yeah, it's a game exclusive, so... That is impossible. And here we have the TM01 Focus Punch. Very good move. Very, very good move. It's just a really crappy, uh, you know, it, it's just a very crappy process, guys. I would rather not use it just because. And we need this guy right here. Okay, so we didn't screw up right here. And do we have one more trainer to battle? No, we just have this right here. We found ourselves an iron, which is cool. And, uh, of course... Like I said before, there's more areas right here where you can actually find a secret base. Um, it doesn't really matter which one you pick. They kind of all look the same or something. So that is pretty much it right here for this area right here, guys. And uh, let's see. I think the next area will have to be the trick base or something like that, the trick area. So let's see. What am I going to do right now? What am I going to do? I'm going to use that super repel and I'm gonna get back to Rustboro City because the next place we're going to is going to be the trick house and hopefully it's already done with his tricks or something like that I don't even know but that's the next place on our list and uh, you know hopefully hopefully we do well or something like that I don't even know so yes finally hopefully we don't screw up on this episode anymore thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next episode see you guys